Okay, this is going to be a quick one if I can. Uh, I'm working on a track that's uh, geared towards the advertising for the Olympics. So, unfortunately, I can't actually <laughs> play you this track for obvious reasons, but I do need to do some pretty um, intense processing for some of the sound design because it's kind of like an orchestral hybrid track. Um, so, one thing that I love to use. Um, for this kind of stuff is a reverb that you're probably um, familiar with, the Sonzig by Relab. So uh, what I'm going to do is just start off by uh, muting all of these and creating a brand new audio track. So what I'm going to do is just import uh, an audio file that I think is going to work for a really big ping if you listen to any trailer music um, or watch any trailers which I'm sure everybody would have watched a trailer for a movie um, you'll know the the very um, famous and widely used ping you hear that massive piano note and uh, that can either be a piano note or a plucked guitar or something but it's heavily processed doesn't even sound like it but it's like a Bing, and it's a big tone thing so that's what I need to create for the start of this track um, so what I'm going to do just to kind of simplify my workflow I'm going to hide everything apart from this one audio track and I'm going to pick up a, a splice sample that I've found either this I'm going to find that high E I'm going to use uh, this high E, I'll play it again in Logic in case you didn't get that from the computer. Right. So that's the sample I'm going to use. Now, what I tend to do first for a, for like a ping sound like this is I'll just roll off a lot of the high end and start with that. Let's actually get a loop going here. And I'm going to do the very basic thing that I would do here. So I'll go straight to um, Relab and grab my Sunzig Reverb. Now, this is a preset that I probably use on almost every single one of my hybrid trailer kind of cues. Um, it, if you go to Factory Preset and go to Fancy Blue Comet, this thing is an absolute monster. Usually I'll put this on a send. Um, in this case, I'm going to be doing a lot of bouncing in place as I go and assessing the wave file as I'm running through. So I'm actually just working with the channel in this instance, but um, you get the idea. So let me just whack the a bit of dry signal back into it. Maybe even wetter than that. Okay, I'm going to take the pre delay down. That's what we need. So that brings it to about there. Right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just add an EQ after the fact here. Um, I can keep that high pass filter there, even though there's not much coming through. Um, I'm going to just do a slight low pass from about maybe from about five, just because there's a lot of scissor and a lot of presence that I don't necessarily want from the reverb. Now I'm going to do one thing before I bounce this in place for the first time. I'm going to add this guy which is brilliant for sound design, the Native Instruments Supercharger. Um, it's got a lot of dirt, you can go pretty crazy with it. I'm going to say maybe go there. Um, I'm going to leave it fully wet for now just to see. Like. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now, now that we've got this bit of processing on to start with, I'm going to bounce in place, then there's a visual aid of what this has done to the audio file and where we're at with it. Um, sometimes it's good just to see and take stock and also rather than just stacking up effect after effect and just seeing your channel strip grow and grow and grow and you lose track of where you are it just kind of swipe, swipes the, cl the slate clean and you start again so um, that's in place uh, fine whatever um, boom there we go so that's our new audio file you can see what it's done to the tail. First of all, it's created a tail here. Um, it's also flattened out that transient at the beginning, which is perfect because what what we need is just that massive cinematic ping that just stays and decays over a number of bars. Because trailer music, particularly where this will be used at the beginning um, of a trailer, it, it needs to cover a large space because trailers tend to swell and do a big boom. And then you just create a soundscape. So it's very minimal for the first 30 seconds of a trailer queue, very minimal indeed. So you have to create space by allowing these things to decay. I mean, that's that will audibly decay for one, two, three, four bars, which is perfect. So now the next step is what I'll do is just kind of give this some extra character, give it some warmth. Um, I'll usually use a bit of like slate tape. Uh, it's, this is really just the fun part now. I've done what I've needed to do. I've created a massive tonal ping, which is what it's called. It's called a, a cinematic trailer ping. Um, and now it's really just about exploring and seeing what I can do. there. Another thing that I really like to do is use a pitch tool. Um, so like if we go waves and sound shifter. And what I'll do is I'll use the reverb tail that's been created by Sonzig and I'll pitch it up so it creates this kind of hybrid cinematic bend. It, it's a really, really great trick to use. Um, and something that is very, very popular now in trailer music. So if I just do this, you'll kind of hear it kind of do this cinematic bend. Um, automate the curve a bit and give it an actual genuine curve. And you'll hear this now. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I realise we just do it on pitch sense, so it's quite a minimal. Um, shift. So what I'm going to just do is just just check where this is going. There we go. Let's see what this sounds like now. Right. And now what I'll probably do is create a couple of versions of this. So if I just copy this and literally just carbon copy here do like quite a quick bend and move the tail um, shift the tail to be slightly quicker and I'll just pitch that up a bit more sharply Now with things like that, when I'm fading out again, this is when I'll use another instance of Relab um, Sonzig. And I'll use a similar kind of thing. What I really need is something just to kind of carve out the, the dip in volume that's happening here. So this will be blended in a bit more. I'll keep the pre-delay down. Uh, it's got a 10 second reverb tail. And I'll bounce this in place as well. Um, ping to fast bend. Give it a little 
fade there, little fade there, so there's no popping. Okay, now I'll just delete that. Commit, commit, commit. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to call this ping one. Just going to increase that pitch movement a little bit. Bounce in place, so that's that one. In fact, I'll call that one ping one. Slow bend. Now, what I'm going to do now is just create one extra one, which is a bend down. And this is just a really great way to change up what you're doing. And when you're writing a trailer queue, it's very easy just to grab a sample and chuck it on and copy and paste as you go. But the key to a great trailer track and any sound design really is development and developing a sound and giving it some different characters. So you can create these different versions and dot them around the track and it just breathes a different life into it. So I'll, I'll do this version now and I'll do one other thing. And because this has quite a lot of character, I'm going to just like increase that, that bend a little bit. That's it, right. And bounce that in place. Ping three, bend down. Okay. Right, now I'm going to just do one more, which is, I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to take my first ping here. And what I'm going to do, create one more, and I'm going to bring in one of my favorite plugins for sound design like this, which is the Devil Lock. Add some e even more saturation, even more dirt, even more unpredictability. And I'm gonna bring in another Sonzig instance here and we're going to give it um, about five, five seconds here. That works. And we're going to go bring the brightness down a little bit, bring the pre-delay down. And we're going to use this as another way to kind of blend out that, that sort of weird transition at the end. So let's hear what that sounds like. go bounce that in place I'm going to call this ping one aggressive so if we go back to how this sample started I'll knock all this off <laughs> and then this is kind of our standard one here that I probably will use for a lot of the track Amazing. So I'll be using these in this cinematic hybrid track and while I'm using a couple of sound toys to kind of mangle the sound and pitch to give a bit of modulation and stuff like that, the, the real heart of turning that basic, um, that basic kind of guitar ping like this into this It's the Sonzig plugin that's doing a lot of the work there. I would say the Sonzig is doing 80% of the work for this ping sound. So 
without that, I'd be a bit lost. I, there are other plugins that I've used in the past that c kind of do similar things, but not with the same character, not with the same tales that you can get out of the Relab, and, and also just the different characters that you can get. There are, there are a whole bunch of different options for that, so um, have a little play, and if you need to do any sound design like this, I urge you to explore what you can do with Sonzik and what you can do either side of where you place the reverb. I, you'll notice that I was placing EQ before um, the reverb and I was putting compression and EQ after the reverb, bouncing it down so that reverb signal has been printed basically and then warping that printed sound which is the reverb so have a little bit of fun 